The distinguishing feature of my writing is that I am short. Sometimes using a poetic form helps me to be brief. The late Eleanor Parsons, my second mother and Rockwood author, asked me why I like to write sonnets. I said, sonnets force an economy of words and guard against too whiny. Yeats's assessment of his own work in his poem, Words, inspires me. He wrote, remembering that the best I have done was done to make it plain. Haiku is another short form. My introduction to haiku was in a comparative religion course at Albion College. We were asked to write haiku that express Eastern thought. I continue to write haiku as well as other forms and free verse that often suggest transcendent implications of beauty. Beauty has spiritual significance when blue morning glories reflect the face of God or beauty reminds me to keep on writing. My college major was art. Minors were English and religion. Over 30 years later, in 1998, I received a Master of Theological Studies degree with a biblical concentration from Western Jesuit School of Theology, now School of Theology and Ministry at Boston College. Jesuits helped me find my voice in poetry and prose. I most fully claimed my calling as a poet when I read the opening words in review of my prose book, An Artistic Approach to New Testament Literature, reviewed in New Testament Abstracts. Chase, an artist and poet. I created a short poetic form and named it after myself, hence a Sharon C. poem. My plan is to change the name to a share poem because I hope people will write them and share them. It is my hope to give a writing workshop using this form. Share, S-H-A-R-E, short for Sharon, is my family nickname. You may wonder how this form presented itself to me. I wrote a sonnet in honor of the late Arnold Wilhite for his widow, now the late Laura, friend from my Connecticut days. I realized that one line of iambic pentameter expresses a great deal about Arnold. Therefore, my form is one line of iambic pentameter arranged vertically with the right number of syllables, but not necessarily with the classic stress or accents on word. Brevity zooms to essence. I will read a sheer poem about essential me. Painterly poet, Protestant wildcard. I feel that my family would want a longer memorial service than those 10 telling syllables. However, that poem would suffice along with crayons glued to the top of a blue box with my ashes. To end on a more cheerful note, a haiku I wrote about 1971 expresses the flow of my life. I got off to a sad start with the death of my first mother and lack of physical coordination. Now my present life is filled with the joy of creativity. Here is the watercolor collage that goes with the haiku. Sad white butterfly flits from sad blue violets to bright bold tulips.